Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to unbox the Voller phone Viel Vergnügen uh, is what it says which is a German for have a lot of fun enjoy this unboxing so let's get started The Volafone is a smartphone made in Germany. Um, it is based on the uh, Gigaset devices. This is a branding that you might have heard from the previous days, early days of Siemens, uh, German biggest German, uh, one of the biggest German technology companies. Anyway, the Vodafone is quite unique and comes uh, from the where is it? Vodafone Hallo Welt uh, System UG in um, Rem, Remscheid made in Germany as you can see here and yeah let's try to unbox it as I am in Germany again I have the possibility to unbox this this one is a quite interesting and unique smartphone that comes with Ubuntu touch pre-installed out of the box in this uh, edition here you can of course get it also with uh, um, Android or something like this so this is the phone itself uh, let's get it out of the protection fall here and, and as you can see I have a nice white variant Vola it's written on it and it has a very nice interesting color as you can see here uh, very interesting and yeah here the CE si signature and made in Germany uh, Remscheid uh, has a dual camera system and it comes inside interestingly enough with uh, the uh, Snapdragon uh, no not with a Snapdragon with a MediaTek Helio um, P23 a little, slightly a little bit older processor 4 gigabytes of um, uh, uh, of memory and 6.3 inch uh, screen with 1080p resolution IPS 60 Hertz and uh, yeah as you can see here I have already some fingerprints on just um, after a few seconds of usage 64 gigabytes eMMC flash internal memory and the pricing is around 359 euros at least when it came out so this is the your uh, the Vola phone and uh, there are of course some other specs let's go to the back we have a fingerprint reader here as you can see that you can press uh, it's not a button it's just a fingerprint reader it's slightly recessed so you don't you can hit it more easily with your finger and of course it comes with uh, cameras in this case it has uh, the 16, mega uh, 16 megapixel camera here and a 2 megapixel uh, rear facing camera with uh, 16 megabyte megapixel camera with uh, uh, face detection autofocus and on the front we have a 16 megapixel camera as well fixed focus 5000 milliampere hours internal battery here which is pretty nice and it comes with uh, fast charging so 18 watts charging and also wireless charging I think which is pretty interesting for this kind of uh, device it has a gravity proximity light and a geomagnetic sensor then we have a power button and a volume rocker here mm, pretty sturdy I would say I think this is not al aluminum this feels a little bit like plastic and here we have the sim eject uh, tray there should be should be a sim eject tool as well so this is the device itself here nothing and on the bottom we have yeah we have a headphone jack still we have a usb type c it is i think usb type c uh, 2.0 and we have of course a speaker here as well so that's the phone itself let's take a look what is in the box uh, Volaphone DE, uh, Vola OS and Ubuntu Touch. My edition comes with Ubuntu Touch as far as I'm aware and here's like the uh, short introduction to it. In German as you can see how you can insert the SIM card. It has also a micro SD card um, uh, memory extension if you want to. So this is possible and then there's like the description of the operating system itself and many many other things here pretty nice pretty good i'm very happy with this then we have something here privacy route borders redeem a free premium plan from heidi i'm not showing this to you right now I'm probably blurring it out as well because uh, it has like uh, a code here 
uh, this is how it looks like and then we have oh that's pretty interesting we have a like a condom case <laughs> like someone uh, yeah says usually it's a case TPU case for protecting the device itself so let's put it on and let's see how this will look like so it will fit in here you can see already it has slightly a little bit of yellowing tint here if I hold it into the light so I'm not sure if this is one of the best protectors uh, cases uh, but yeah I think it is a bit protecting the screen as well this is a screen protector as well on top here and this is why I get so much smudges already yeah so interesting another box here another layer and here we get the sim eject tool uh, plastic bag we have a USB type C cable this is USB type C to A and we have a power adapter here that hopefully also can provide 18 watts nothing written on it was interesting here it's written and yeah now you have to read output I think it should be 9 volt and 2 amps which is like 18 watts so this one should provide 18 watts of uh, charging no headphones or something like this but good that we have a charger at least so this is the water phone now let's turn it on hopefully it has some juice still left it is vibrating and here we see the Voda logo and let's see how it will turn on it should start into Ubuntu Touch because I remember I ordered the Ubuntu Touch version. Yeah, there's Ubuntu Touch as you can see a nice uh, starting animation. Usually I'm um, yeah, reviewing also SafeShare's phones and SafeShare's ports. So it might be very interesting to see how Ubuntu Touch is doing another free and open source alternative to all those uh, Androids out there. So uh, Germany is pre-selected here and yeah. Uh, no SIM card, just skip this one. It's in German. Uh, we can connect us to the Wi Fi if we want to. We just skip this. We can type in our uh, time zone here. Have our uh, time zone is Berlin because I'm in Germany. Yes, I'm back in Germany. I can type in a name. So I type in my first name here that I want to use. I can create a new. Um, password or pin so I have the possibility to use a password not only pin um, I can choose a pin pretty easy one and now welcome to Ubuntu can go through the first steps where it will explain how this all works so swipe from above we'll go to the quick settings like I can see here it's a bit small but I can see notifications I can see if I want to turn on the rotation, I have some uh, input options, uh, files that are transferred. I can turn on my uh, location services, uh, Bluetooth and the network, uh, Wi-Fi. I can uh, choose the options for sound, battery and time and date and the system itself. I can turn it off even if I want to. So let's get up again and yeah, then if I have a long, long drag here, I will drag the uh, drawer open with all the applications. You can see some applications, UB ports, of course, because UB ports is the one who's doing Ubuntu Touch, Ubuntu Touch still. So this is possible like this. And yeah, are there some other swipe gestures? I think not. I can also tap here to get the drawer open. I can go into settings and yeah it will give me guide me through like if i go like this i can go into multitasking view or i can just swipe this away and go like this to my apps again and yeah could switch between apps if i have like apps open like the clock app for example and think if i do a quick swipe yeah quick swipe allows me to switch between apps or I can go into this multitasking view which is pretty interesting and yeah I can go here to my drawer if I don't need to. So recording now with the Voller phone and uh, let's see how the focusing works. 
it should have uh, face detection autofocus, but I think it is pumping a little bit. I hold something in, you can see it's like slightly pumping. Oh, what's with the audio? Vergnügen. Oh, can I focus on something else? Yes, I think I can. So during recording, you can also uh, take snapshots. Can I? Not sure. Uh, how's the audio quality? Yeah, this is a little Vodafone first recording with a one to touch. Uh, so I now uh, Vodafone recording with the front facing camera and the inbuilt microphone, and it's quite good, I would say. Uh, at least on, on the viewfinder, it looks quite good. If you want to touch, I'm uh, recording this uh, double chin. <laughs> I have to hold it like this, maybe. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice, I think. And uh, there's not much dynamic range going on, but uh, it is showing the light. Uh, it's a little bit lighter uh, on the viewfinder, at least, uh, the background here, than in reality. Yeah, what do you think about the selfie cam of the Vodafone? Pretty interesting. I don't want to deep dive into the operating system right now, but yeah, this is a one to touch running on the Volaphone. This is everything for my quick unboxing of the Volaphone. If you have some questions, just write them down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye!